Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining and showing the simple harmonic equation for a mass on a vertical spring. In the previous video I showed it for a mass on a horizontal spring, and in this video you will see that the simple harmonic equation for both vertical and horizontal spring is exactly the same. So let's begin. So here we have a spring, hanged, right, it's hanging. And it's not attached to anything, nothing's attached to it. But then let's say we get a mass and attach to this spring, and common sense will tell us that the spring will extend. Okay. And let's say it extends by an amount of infinitely small of L. And this system, and so the spring is not extending. Or compre I mean, um, the system is in equilibrium position at the moment. Okay, so we just attach the mass. We attach the mass, and is at equilibrium position. And since the system is in equilibrium position, um, what does that mean? That means the resultant force is is equal to zero. Okay. But what are the forces acting on the system? Well, there's gravity, mg, and there's a spring force, Hooke's law, where the minus indicates that the force is always in the opposite direction to the displacement, and k is a spring constant, and x is the amount of um, the amount of uh, the spring extending or compress compressing. So in this case, it's extending. And it's extended by an amount of infinitely small of L. Okay. And um, I should mention that we are taking the displacement in a downward direction as positive. Okay. So the resultant force on the, on the mass is equal to the... Um, gravitational force take away the spring force. Okay? And since it is in equilibrium position, we say that mg is equal to the gravity, the weight force is equal to the spring force. And let's label that as equation 1. Because we will be using that. Actually, let, them, let me don't write it there. I'll write it somewhere here. Okay. So it's equal to the position, and so the resultant force is equal to zero, and so these two forces that's acting against each other must be equal to each other. So say we grab hold of this mass, and then I displace it by an amount of x, in the downward direction. So I pull it downwards by an amount of x. Oops. Let's draw it. Okay. So what are the forces acting on this system? Well, again, there's gravity, mg, the weight, and there's a spring force. But what's the extension this time? What is x? What's the extension this time? Well, the total extension is, it was initially like this, and then it was extended by an infinitely small of l, and then... We displace the binary amount of x. Okay. Okay. This system obeys Newton's second law. I mean, you know, we know that if we let go from with this mass, so I displaced it, and if I let go, 
then the system will have the mass will have a continuous change in speed through its cycle because there's force acting on it and so there's acceleration and so because of this we can say the resultant force is equal to ma and that's equal to mg take away the spring force okay and that can be written as ma equal to mg take away k times infinitely small of l take away kx and we know that mg when the system is in equal position mg is equal to k infinite times by infinitely sm small of l so we can substitute this equation into this so let's just move the camera okay so ma equals to mg take away mg take away kx and that can be written as ma equals to minus kx okay so we substitute this equation into equation 2 let's leave it so we substitute mg into that. And we know that a is equal to the second derivative, the second derivative of displacement. So we can substitute this into this equation, equation 3, and then divide both sides by m. And we get And this could be written as where where omega squared is equal to k over m. Okay. And this is the simple harmonic equation for mass on a vertical spring. And if you realize if you look at our previous video, is that, oops, let me just rewrite this, oh, this is a mess, quickly rewrite this neatly, this equation is the same as a simple Hummel equation for mass on a horizontal spring. Very interesting. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm a student. Um, I'm taking notes from a book. I'm learning from a book. And um, trying to record and exp try and explain. Um, so I can help myself in improving my teaching and understanding. And her at the same time help you guys as well. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the upcoming videos. See you. Bye.